Welcome everyone to the social van Feeling Kyle sick of the bullshit So here they are, Rep and C Plus Ready to turn every podcast to dust So sit down and shut the fuck up Cause when in doubt, fuck your couch Welcome everybody to the social van Yeah What up, y'all? Can you be the Sex and Ninja? Big Daddy right here. How y'all doing? We're doing a little something different today. A little, and, a little you know, something different. This is really different, like, for real. Yes, it is. <laughs> we're, we're moving on up. You know what I'm saying? We're trying, to, we're trying to be more fancy. Well, sir, I got to ask you, how's your week been? Wait, you know what? Before we say that, business. 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 <laughs> Shutter.com. Shutter.com. S-H-U-D-D-R.com slash podcast. Use the special promo code. C plus, goddamn. You are having an off day. I know. See, folks, this is what happens when you go fucking like you start when you stop eating meat. This is what happens. Goddamn, your mind gets like. Ooh. C plus C P L U S. You enter that promo code into the box, and you get thirty free days. Thirty free days did on you this forget? after that. I did. <laughs> and after that's five dollars. Make you holler or going up. Either or going or, up. Either way, up. y'all. It's good shit. Yeah. Um, I want to kick it off by uh, fucking Marvel coming out the gate. They are swinging. They swung their big dick. <laughs> they sure did. It's um, sorry, folks. Let me put this on mute. My bad. I always do that. They, they swung that dick so hard it slapped everybody in the face. I mean, and, hard. Oh my god, Miss Marvels. Um, the next Ant Man and Wasp movie, Doctor Strange, Thor, the eleven movies they announced. We're gonna bring it up. Yeah, eleven Shang Chi, The Internals, um, now, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. I'm kind of interested in. I'm interested in them all. I'm just like fucking take my money, take my money. No, I'm, I'm I'm gonna be picky. I'm, I'm gonna be picky. I'm not gonna lie. Black I'm Widow. Gonna, almost forgot Black Widow. Black Widow come drops what next month? Yeah, Spider Man. Uh, I know they, they're dropping that one quick. Yeah, still we have like four movies until the end of this year. Four like... movies, four <laughs> movies. So this reminds me of like a couple summers ago. Well, yeah, 2017 it was Black Panther, Guardians of the Galaxy. What else? Um, Ragnarok, Infinity War, Infinity War. I know just because because uh, was it um, Black Panther was in February, right? Black for Black February. History Month. And yeah, yeah. And then Guardians was right after. Yeah. And then Ant Man. No, 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 no. Endgame, no Infinity War, and then Ant Man was after. Ant Man was that year too. Fuck y'all! And Ant Man was treated us good, didn't they? Uh, and, and that was the end of the phase. Well, no, it wasn't, huh? No, because they considered the that whole run until Endgame Phase Three. Yes. Well, Spider Man. I don't know why they ended like that. Because remember when Phase One, when Phase Two ended, then they're like, oh, Avengers of Old Age of Ultron. Yes. No, the real end of Phase Two is um, Ant Man. Was Ant Man? Yeah, it was Ant Man, and then Captain America: Civil War was the beginning of Phase Three. Yeah, then Phase Three was all the way till End Game. Yeah, that well, was the longest phase. Spider Man, Spider Man, um, Far From Home. Far From Home. I, I really, it's, I, I find it funny Let's that see. they're they're keeping um, the whole like what was the first one? Homecoming. Second one's Far From Home, and this one's No Way Home. No Way Home. Yeah. So. So how we got it dropping so far? Well, Eternals was supposed to drop last November, not no more. Falcon Winter Soldier was supposed to drop the fall of 2022. And Shang-Chi, so everything pretty much got loaded up, got moved up. So what do we got next on the TV run? We got Loki. Loki's next, um, right? Well, on the TV run, just for me personally, I have to say this. Star Wars, The Bad Batch, episode one dropped on Star Wars Day this week. And I watched it, that. It was incredible. Um, that was badass. Oh, I my God. I, that was badass. <laughs> and I remember with Boy. I remember with Doug, uh, after we saw that episode, the four episode with the Bad Batch, when they introduced him and stuff like that, I was just like, I want action figures. <laughs> I want a TV show. I want this and this and this. And we're sitting here now. We have the Bad Batch show. And I, it's crazy seeing sort of the aftermath, like especially right off the gate of Order 66. Like, after I watched The Bad Batch, I immediately put on um, uh, Revenge of the Sith. And immediately just sat there, 
what that tablet that we're still supposed to use for C Plus Studios, but we haven't used for C Plus Studios yet. And I'm just watching movies on it. <laughs> it's uh, and, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> have you but, have you just been watching movies? Whole, I'm, I'm over here trying to get in the camera too. Are you, are you, can you guys see us? You guys can see us. You can. Can you see that? There you go. <laughs> but, yeah, but uh, it, it was it was crazy, man. Just like I, it, I had a good Star Wars day. But it's funny, it's like for me, every day is Star Wars day. Man. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I, I immediately jumped on, thinking, okay, are we gonna see the Republic Commandos? Even though PlayStation Four, you guys suck. You guys got a retextured, remastered. Star Wars Republic Commandos video game, and it's not coming to Xbox. You well, guys kiss my ass. Yeah. That's that's how you corner the market, good sir. That's how you get somebody that wants you to go get that uh, PlayStation Five. Is that place? Are they on five? It, it can be on four or five. If four on five? Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, Gil, four on didn't you have a PlayStation Four? That was Anthony's. Oh, oh. Yeah, and of course, yeah. He takes it after me taking care of it, and then of course his punk ass friend. Broke it, and now they don't want to pay the money, and blah blah blah. I'm just like, you know what? That's cool. I'm still gonna give me PlayStation Five because that is like gamers' heaven right now. It's actually, I have friends who have both both systems, and they say the PlayStation Five just beats it, Xbox the new one hands down. I'm like, but I really want, <laughs> I well, really want the big old book box though. Well, for me, like I I. <laughs> I want to stream games. Yes. And especially for the channel, especially just to do it in general, you know. Like, I will become more of an admin gamer if it is more or less for C Plus Studios. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to do, like, some live on, you know, maybe do some Call of Booty and um, just Call straight <laughs> over Overwatch or, you know. <laughs> You can tell he's a rookie, huh? Yeah, call the booty, baby. Call the booty. Call the booty. Um, oh, we do. We have also talked about, folks, we want to do this, the live stream match with you guys. Yes, that does take money, unfortunately. But we've talked about it, and we're still looking into it. Um, the, the live stream what? You know how people are doing, like, you no know, live stream, like, the, like live watches? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 like that that stuff. Unfortunately, that that app costs money, and it's not cheap. That's something that, yeah, that's a fucking, that's Uh, a a money hole. Money in general, man, like time is money. Like, uh, if you guys have seen it already, the New World Podcast is back. I'm going to keep up with it every Thursday. Uh, You got to check it out right now. It's called Back to Biz, Season 3, Episode 1. And the reason why season three, episode one, is because that's the way I categorize everything C plus. Mm-hmm. Like with us, we're on season nine or whatever, just because I lost track. Like when we first started, then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna finally put some fucking seasons on this bitch. It's <laughs> just because I kept losing <laughs> track of everything we do, and so now, like, yeah, we're like season nine, episode twenty five or something like that. Yeah, we're on season. Yeah, we have a lot. In four years, yeah, we we make a lot of damn seasons, folks. It's 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 cool though. We're still here. We had that little stretch break, but now we're we're fucking here, and it's all good. And what what, uh, what does this have to do with all the Marvel stuff? Just, just keep me alive until <laughs> till the end, man. I but you know what's so weird is like at the end of that that teaser, they mention um, well one? they had the four the, the the one where like we're going back to the movies and whatnot you know then they started showing all the um, logos for each movie oh, then at the end they okay. showed a four and I was like okay is that Fantastic Four or is that a foreshadowing of Phase Four because there's a debate even though this is the same blue color scheme that says you know it's the four and whatnot with the circles right. I, I'm assuming it's Fantastic Four. that's Fantastic Four but also I was just like they didn't put a release date on that bitch and they're also like. Four. I'm like, well, this is phase four. So, are you like playing on both ends? You know what I mean? Like, I think they're playing on both ends. We'll like double sided dildo in your ass. You're just like, okay. Only he would know about that. Oh, you speaking about dildos? <laughs> so you know how people are crazy about guns, right? <laughs> I want to like, um, I want to create a store where it's uh, like, let's say I love my guns and cock or something like that. Call the store that. Uh huh. <laughs> And, you know, for hardcore people, like, oh, guns, you know, they walk in. But all the dildos are shaped like guns. 
They got AKs, 47 shaped like guns. You can fuck the gun. You can let the gun fuck you. These are for those hardcore people that are like, God damn it, you're taking my American right. So you got a store that I will create for you so you have dildos of guns because you love your gun so much. And guess what? You could probably put it up inside you while you're driving and be like, Ooh, I got my gun. The Excaliburs, all of them. That's, I'm going to find someone that can get all the molds. Now back to Marvel. <laughs> Now back to Marvel. Like it does me. Like and subscribe. <laughs> God damn, I don't even know what's after that. <laughs> All right, so we're back to Marvel. Guess what, folks? We've already passed one division. Now we're going to uh we just passed Winter the Falcon the Winter Soldier. No, now no, no. To Captain America and the Winter Soldier, good sir. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Captain America and, and now the Winter we're going Soldier. into Loki. And what's Hawkeye's next? next, I believe. Uh, it's either going to be Hawkeye. No, what, what happened to what if? Because I'm I'm looking at what if. What if is still coming out? Hawkeye. They, yeah, they already confirmed some of the stories. But, I've seen. Did you see the trailer? Yeah, I'm, that I'm, was a cool. Tra- that was a long fucking trailer. They're they're, they're not they're not playing, man. No, they're, they're not playing. I can't wait to see the uh, ah spoilers right now. I can't wait to see the uh, the the flip around with T'Challa and the Guardians of the Galaxy. That also, be I also, I can't wait to Marvel Zombies. Marvel Zombies, that's going to be fun. Uh, Peggy Carter as, as Captain America. I have already read it. <laughs> did you Did you see the, the, uh, the what? I, I, saw, I, yeah, I saw it. I was okay, like, oh, that's you, cool. You, you didn't see it. I, I read it. Well, I don't care. You still didn't see it. But what ifs, though, though? Come on, let's think about that. Let's think about that series in general. All right. I, I remember talking to people about what ifs, and there, I had, there's some great what ifs out there. Yes, there is. What if, uh, was it, um, one of my favorites is, uh, oh, I can't remember it. But there, you should look into what ifs. If you have the Marvel Unlimited app, Look up the what ifs. There's just uh, some crazy stories in there that are just amazing. And like, um, I also too uh, remember when um, DC and Batman, not DC and Marvel, came together for algogram. Um, um, amalgamation. Mal- yeah, yeah. And how like uh, Wolf, they got Wolverine and they put Batman in together and it came Dark Claw. Dark Claw and, and then uh, S- Super Soldier was Superboy. You know, and, was, was, was Super Soldier was what. Uh, it was still Steve Rogers, but they injected him with Kryptonian, yeah, cells. Th- and then um, Iron Lantern, uh, they put Tony and Green Lantern together. Yeah, Iron Lantern, yeah. and then uh, uh, the original Nubia. It was Storm and Wonder Woman. Oh yeah, dude, that that one took off. That one was badass. People were like, "We want this one." Uh, Dark Claw. I wish they would have done that. That would have been fun. Uh, yeah, and that would have been that, that would be a cool like. Collaboration of animation, but let let DC do the animation part. <laughs> Marvel, you can't touch the animation, y'all, because you y'all just y'all. Well, I was pissed though because um, Fuck. they put they pushed back uh, Justice Society World War Two. I got an email from um, Amazon because it was supposed to come out this month, and then they're like, "No, it's pushed back to June." I it's was at like, "Barnes and Noble." What the fuck? It's at Barnes and Noble. I was there today. I'm coming at you. I ordered this thing like months ago. <laughs> months ago. Uh, so did I. When I seen that, but I seen it over there, they didn't put my copy up. And I was like, oh, you guys are going to act dicks like to me, huh? You dicks to me now. That's cool. That's cool. Well, you know, it's just what? like, I, I, it's one of those things where you have the money. Yeah. And you're like, I'm going to pre-order it and buy it. And boom. Where's my fucking movie? I ordered this thing like months ago. Like... Because I was that excited because I was like, Justice Society! That's what happens when you're friends with me and I quit and all of a sudden they're going to be rude to you. I know, they're going to be like, nope. Oh, boy, oh, and they're like, fuck you. Yeah, oh, <laughs> shit, that can be guy? Yeah, fuck you. Oh, by the way, Shang-Chi. <laughs> oh, Shang-Chi. Uh, <laughs> Shang-Chi, okay, so let's start it over from the beginning. If we just do movies, Black Widow's up next. That comes out next month. Uh, Black Widow... Shane Chi, Eternals, Doctor Strange, now Black Panther. That's right. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. And then Thor, Love and Thunder. 
For everyone clowning to be about that. Love and Thunder. Oh, yeah. What were you saying? Blood and Thunder? Blood and Thunder. Well, I thought it was Blood and Thunder at first, bro. No, nah, it's been Love and Thunder since the beginning. I could have swore I'd seen it. I <laughs> well, it's like, like, here's an example. This is a little off cue, but like that Eddie Guerrero pop that I reviewed on the New World Podcast, yeah. I swear... When I did the pre-order for it, you know how they have the paper there with uh, all like the upcoming pop figures and games and shit like that? Uh-huh. I swear that there was an Eddie Guerrero pop holding the WWE Championship. And that was one of the main reasons I was just like sold. Not, I wouldn't have been not sold, you know. But I was like, him holding the championship, representing WrestleMania 20? I was like, hell yeah. And then I got the pop. My brother got it for me, dropped it off. And he's just like, here you go. And I was like, where's his belt? And like you get a cool little pin, I was like, oh, I, I wasn't tripping. What? It was originally titled "The Mighty Thor: Blood and Thunder." I was not tripping. This Blood the, and Thunder. This this was the original story that was supposed to be off of off of this book right here. See, look at that. And they you they had the same logo. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the, it was, it's was it been Love and Thunder since they announced it. I remember Blood and Thunder, this. Yeah, L- since the beginning, since the announcement, you can call me out. Fucking butterfly effect, man. I'm t- see, God so, damn it. If he's, it, it might be the same thing with you. It, no, it, if, if, he's, if, he's trying to call, no, if he's trying to call me out on this, and I remember that conference for Comic-Con. Well, it wasn't even Comic-Con. It was a Marvel thing that they put that out Marvel, there. That thing, huh? Yeah, and so if you could find the video and tell Big Daddy that I am always right, it was love and thunder since the beginning. This motherfucker likes to think he's right all the time. <laughs> See, there's the okay, there's the original logo of Love and Thunder. Actually, that was I like that one better than the current one. Here, folks, you want to see? You'll see it on mine. Here, look at that. See, look at that. Love and thunder. That, that's that's the original. That's the original logo, and they should have kept that one. That is nicer than the other one. That huh? is nicer, huh? A little, bit, a little bit crispier. More more metalish. Metal. Um, what was the next topic? <laughs> Shit, let's see. All right. I'll bring it up. I will bring it up. I sent these questions out like a few days ago, right? A few days ago, and then we had enough time to... To think about it. <laughs> to think about them, so we have... I think it was something to do with wrestling. Daniel Bryan. Oh, okay. Let's talk about Daniel Bryan for a second, because I was looking in on that. The clean win that he allowed Roman Reigns. Very cool. Yeah, and uh, once again, a little plug on that New World podcast. I actually watched that match. Uh, (laughs) It was a clean win. Um, In my reaction to it, because when you see on the New World podcast, I'm not just plugging that just to plug it. Uh, it, it was definitely something that I was like... Plug your shit. This is our, it's our shit, man. Fuck it. I know, right? <laughs> it's, like, it's like we're competing with networks here. <laughs> but no, and I, I was wondering... Because that was my first time actually watching it. And I yeah. say that in the video. That's my first time. Because when they announced that match, I was like, oh my God. Roman and Brian, you know, for the championship. Mm-hmm. I hope no interference. I hope no this. Just let them go. And they did. They let them go. And what I like most about it is that after, but that it was a, you. we actually saw Roman do something that we haven't seen in a while. Wrestle. Yeah, and that's. He fucking wrestled. That's the thing, too, is yeah. like, I I really enjoyed the fact that he, like, I even said it in the video. He goes out. and yes, he, he does. And it's, it's beautiful. And he needs that type of opponent to go for and Daniel mm-hmm. Bryan is the guy that's going to make him shine and when he got him what was funny is um, when he got him locked in he got him locked in on the left side yeah by accident like you know got him in the guillotine <laughs> and he locked him on the left side and so it made me laugh so hard because the commentators was like oh man oh man he got him on the left side the left side because right there Roman messed up and Throw him into the left side. Yeah. It hooked him. And uh, then, like, the commentator's like, oh, it's the left side. The left side must be strong above. <laughs> They're going to be fucking. They probably fucked with him afterwards. Yeah. Like then, um, they probably just teased the hell out of him. And then the best part about it is, like, in the video, I'm just like, it's that left side. <laughs> you know, they got now, it. Now, if you would have done that, what would have happened? What would, your, what, what would your trainer would have done? Slap me in the back of my head. <laughs> But I've, I've, oh yeah! I've had my trainer slap me in the back of the head just for locking up with them, 
But this was beforehand. Like I, I know how to lock up. You yeah. Know? And I lock up tight. I lock up strong. And this person sets the match. Yeah. And I, 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 I locked up with my trainer. And he slapped me. He's like, oh, it's too hard. I'm like, you little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll say it right now. Look at the other camera. If you know who you are, you know who you are. Fuck you. You can't even lock up that tight. <sighs> um, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, one of my trainers. He wasn't yeah. my full trainer. It was one of them. Um, yeah, so, but Daniel Bryan losing that way, I was kind of like, uh, but, you know, if he's going to go out, he might as well go out on a clean win. Yeah. Uh-huh. Clean win. And then rumor has it before that, with, uh, it was talking about him going to NXT. All the NXT guys were teasing, you know, him coming down and this and that. Like, oh, Brian, we can't wait to see you again, old friend. You know, there was a season then. It would be nice to see him wrestle, wrestle, wrestle again. And then the breaking news happened is his contract is expired. As of that, as of that Friday, that was his last match. Yeah. And now it's just like, where does he go from here? And for me, I already told you, I would like to see him end up in Japan. And I, I agree. I don't want him to be in AEW. I don't nope. want. I want him. To, or I want Impact. God, no. He's, he's so much better than goddamn Impact. No, sorry, nothing bro, against no Impact against Wrestling. Impact, but you guys, y'all just kind of. And they've been picking up their game a little bit. Like I think them crowning Kenny Omega. Beating um, Rich Swan for the title for that winner takes all, I think that was a good move for the company just because now you have a bona fide superstar like Kenny Omega that can make anybody at Impact that's going to beat him for that title. Yes. So I think that was a good move on Impact. That was a good move on business. It's a good move for AEW to get the shine a little bit. Hint, hint. A little yeah, bit of a shine to Ring of Honor and New Japan and yep. kind of these little bit of crossovers and whatnot. But Vince probably saw it too because he did let Chris Jericho onto the podcast with Stone Cold. Stone Cold podcast. That was pretty good too. Yeah. And the, my, very good. My, my favorite line is when Chris sits down, he's just like, so no one's going to snipe me, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> And Steve, he just... Just laughs. He's just like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, but we, we shall see what the future holds for Daniel Bryan. And good I, luck to you, bro. Wherever you go, good luck to you. All right. So I think we got about 10 minutes. I got to pick up the tiny one, but I want to jump into this one. Okay. You ready? Let's go. Uh, wait, it was one of the controversial ones. Uh, police asking for murder charges to be dropped. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're yeah. all doing it right now. Uh, Chauvin or Chauvin or Showman or about to be up the butthole in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. that guy. Um, his lawyer's trying to get a, a new trial going. And trying right to now. get a new trial. They're trying to say, well, you know, he was on duty. You really can't prove on camera that it really happened. And it's like, what? What? I. It's. It's. I don't know, man. It's one of those things where I'm just like. You know that I think this is the whole idea of cops being. This is dirty cops now at the dirty cop work at this point, and I don't know. I was just like, it's just like that homeboy, uh, the the Buffalo guy we keep bringing up, man. He where he was just like, I want organic food while I'm in prison. Oh yeah, and, that, the judge like, bitch, you get the prison food. You get prison food and, and this mistrial and this and that and. Oh, well, is it because they said it was because uh, he the the lawyer is saying it was because they were still in Minneapolis, right? They're in Minneapolis, yeah, yeah, and that's why we they should get a new trial because the, they he feels that the uh, jury was a little un, um, a little biased about it and stuff like that. But I'm like, bitch, you are guilty. You are and, guilty, and there's finding more and more of them every single damn day, dude. It's like. Uh, Every time I turn on the TV, every time something happens, you know, because I don't really watch news. I, I usually ask you what's going on or my wife what's going on. It's just, it's fucking ridiculous, man. It's just like, you know, these, these cocksuckers. That, like, the bitches. You have the audacity, you know. Okay, if this is a situation where the uh, you killed the cop, uh, you know, full-blown you killed the cop, you're guilty, you went through court, 
you're going to probably go through court faster than the Chauvin guy get, did. Oh, way faster. Way faster. Also, you are going to be looked upon of like, oh, you killed one of our brothers. You know, our brother's in blue. And everyone's going to be like, oh, how sad. It's kind of like what the Joker said. Yeah. Blow up, you know, gangbanger kills somebody, it's going according to plan, you know. Mm-hmm. I tell people that a truck full of soldiers are going to die, is going to plan. But I say a little mare is about to be murdered, and everyone loses their minds. They lose their fucking mind, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's hypocrisy at its best. It's hypocrisy at its best, and it, it just kind of shows the bias that people have thanks to Trump what what you know the bias nowadays. It's like, oh we have that we can we can say this, but you can't. Yeah. We well, can we can we can we can protect our people in blue, but you know You we, don't protect the people. Yeah, you don't yeah, you don't protect the people. Asian lives matter. Where's all lives matter? Well, you know, Meryl well, as funny as I saw that when they started doing the whole Asian Lives Matter. Yeah. Trust me, all all lives do matter, but people keep forgetting the point of Black Lives Matter, which is it's like what? Yeah, they they get it's like you why do you keep forgetting the point of Black Lives Matter? <laughs> because I fucking hate that shit where it's just like people especially white people white people are the ones that are putting me out there like, oh well oh, especially hardcore conservative right people are like, Well all lives matter. Mr. Re- like, Mr. Reen kissing mm, Oh Mr. Ted Cruz is, mm, I'm sorry, Donald. Mm, I'm gonna kiss that butthole. Mm, he, might well be, Cheeto. He, he might as well be sucking his dick. Yeah, Cheeto Jesus. <laughs> Megan McCain, Arizona Board and Bread, baby. We love you. <laughs> and you know, it's just like everyone's just fucking off their rockers now, man. Yeah. And it's it's ridiculous. It's disgusting for one. And it's like with the whole Black Lives Matter thing, when people started trying to make it their own. Yeah. I was just like, okay, that's that's cool and all that. You know, you want to be part of this movement, you know, and, and include everybody. And I saw a really cool Native one that said Red Lives Matter. Oh, i seen that one too. I was like, that's cool, man. But then when people lose the message of what Black Lives Matter actually means, then it's like, okay, you know what? Hold on. Now you're just jumping on this for the sake of jumping on it. You because know? you're mad. Yeah. Because you're mad. And I've seen, and there's this one dude I follow on Facebook, and he's a hardcore conservative dude. Mm-hmm. And he hates Black Lives Matter. And he's black. But he's so, I, I will say brainwashed. I'll say it right now. If you watch this, you're <laughs> fucking brainwashed. He is so brainwashed that he hates everything on the left. He believes everything on the right. He believes Trump should still be in office. Of course he, he does. He's, that, he's the same cocksucker that believes like like what we talked about. He lost. All right, look at my face. He fucking lost. <laughs> he it's lost. over. It's done. It's done, y'all. It's, it's <laughs> Arizona. Come on now. He <laughs> lost. It's like he's, it's, it's over. He lost. he lost. Let's say it again. He lost. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 go Good fuck yourself. Guy. Yeah, you go fuck yourself. Go fuck God. yourself. Hey, man, praise Jeebus. And no. then here's Megan McCain, Cheeto Jesus. Cheeto Jesus. That's that's the name of this episode, Cheeto Jesus. Cheeto Jesus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can, see the, I can see the reports now. They're talking about our God and King, the Cheeto Jesus. I mean, Donald Trump. Come on. Even though he's still taking money from us and he's not supposed to, it's supposed to be a one-time charge of him, a goddamn donation that he keeps taking it's millions. True. We got to go recount the ballots. Why? Because we were all... And the, oh, and then you know, I know your, I know your reasons for the vaccine, for, Why, for the vaccine. Yes. I know, I know your reasons, and your reason is justified because you know dealing with, with black culture and stuff like that, and, and generational how you know, gener- generational yes. stuff, and then this is like for Native Americans as well, what mm-hmm. they took people of color and fucking pump their bodies full of to be test monkeys, you know, test, 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 test monkeys. Test monkeys. Yeah, we're fucking, you we're know. test monkeys. We're basically, we were yeah. shit. And, and I know there's nothing racist about that, folks. He was just making an make analogy. I didn't test think monkeys. it was racist, but if you want to take it there, I'm yeah. just kidding. Yeah, yeah, somebody will. Oh my <laughs> God, you guys said that. He said monkey. He, he said, said monkey. monkey. Oh my God, yes. No, no that's not. It's just like, shit. Um, <laughs> but it's like, through generations, but I understand, but when I hear a trumper so, uh, ma'am, you're not going to take the vaccine? Nope. I ain't going to take that vaccine. Mm-mm. It's going to change my DNA. <laughs> going to change it. 
The government, they're going to put a chip in there. Bill Gates going to put a chip in that vaccine. Well, ma'am, that's not really true. Now, what do you know? I know people. Educated people. This is why Trump didn't lose. And I'm like... <laughs> when I hear shit like that, I tell them, you know Trump took the vaccine, right? <laughs> yeah, that's... God damn it. That's exactly what I mean. It's just like... He, he took Cheeto... It. Mr. Jesus Cheeto yeah. took the fucking vaccine. He took the vaccine. His whole family did. Yeah. Even snow, snorted, coked up Donald Trump Jr. took the fucking vaccine. <laughs> and it's just like, when they're like, oh, they're going to put a, a chip in there and keep track of us. Who says they already haven't? They already are. God, it's man. called a cell phone. It's in your pocket. <laughs> it's called uh, yep. Facebook. It's called Twitter. Instagram. It's called social media in general. They have us watch this. They're like, <laughs> like this. Oh, I'm so worried the government's gonna watch. They are watching. <laughs> I was like, did you have you ever noticed when you talk about something in in, in the private and your phone's sitting on the table? Have you ever noticed when you're like, man? I really wish I had this dope ass light bulb. And you open your Facebook thing, and there's ads for light bulbs. We were talking about that earlier. Folks, yeah. we went, we went, we went to go get something to eat, and we were, talk, what, what we're, we're talking. We're talking about, about Green Lantern. We're talking about Green Lantern. And John Stewart didn't even text it. Didn't even type it in yet. Nowhere near close to even being finished. And the shit finished right there. I typed in Green Lantern and John Stewart. Blah 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 blah. I'm like. <laughs> It, I, 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 it, do you know what's so funny? <laughs> it's, we, we, we act like, oh my God, but it's like, it's reality. It's reality. It's, now, it's, yeah. rea it's, it's reality. And this is why, you know, I don't believe in this whole, like, oh, we need to be woke type bullshit and stuff like that. Because it's the idea of, like, you know what? We are being watched. This has been happening since the day the government was even born. The day do you think the government really wants to have their people off the leash? No, oh, they're gonna no. they're gonna keep the people on the leash. They're gonna report what they want to report. They're gonna tell you what they want to tell you. Because let's think about what the government is really hiding. Like honestly, because and this is why I don't believe in Q. I don't believe in anonymous. Anonymous and kiss my ass. Because Anonymous was like, I got shit. I got shit. It's coming, guys. It's coming, guys. And guess what? Nothing. Hey, Q, Q, Q's. Oh, like it. that like that Ferguson report that they supposedly had. And yeah, um, I, I, I'm like everyone. Else. I'm still waiting for that to drop. But, you know. Well, it's just like, like, okay, shout out to Penta. I love you, Penta. But we're talking. And he's like, oh, shit. You know what's real? Because you know what's going on in Colombia, right? Like, like uproars and riots and stuff like yes. that. Yeah. Um. Well, he's like, oh, shit, Anonymous got involved. I'm like, fuck Anonymous. And he's like, why? I was like, he's just as bad as Q. I go, Q was found out to be fucking... That. You should watch that documentary on Q. It's fucking crazy. I tried but, watching half of it, and I, I think I lost brain cells. Yeah, like, yeah how dumb people got about it, you yeah. know? And it, with Anonymous, it's the same fucking way. Don't say it's not, because it is the same fucking way. Because with anonymous people were clinging on what he was saying, just you know, yeah. And then like, then the promises. Oh, this is coming, guys. I got, I got something. I got something, guys. Here's the, where did it go, George? Where did it go? To twenty twenty. Nothing. Nothing. And just lies, 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 lies on top of lies. So, dear anonymous, dear Q. I, th I think Snowden dropped more knowledge and information in that time during those four years. During Trump's administration, more information about what was going on than than they did. Hell, the bum down at Walmart dropped more knowledge. Than they no did. shit. <laughs> oh, I got some information. I got uh, I got information. Uh, well, um, mm -hmm. that's just a box you're holding in your hand. I'll tell oh. you. Oh shit. But I know people. I know I people. Know Hold people. on, I got a phone call. I need to talk in this car. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Skeezer got some stuff. <laughs> that's right. He got some stuff. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Somebody gonna get pissed. Yeah, I let them get pissed. I don't give a shit. Anymore, I, 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 I I've learned that like with today with everything going on today, everything, and you guys should know this. I've gotten to the point where I give zero fucks anymore because I'm just like you know what if I if if you ain't gonna have the uh, if you ain't even give the time of day to listen. And then I'll listen to. Mm -hmm. 
There's no point of talking to a wall that's already made up their mind. Yes. Trump is God. Trump is this. Or whatever fucking thing you believe. But Biden if when is I, lying. Or Biden is the truth, too. Yeah. He's the truth. Yeah, or if I say, you know, <laughs> it's just like the other day um, when we filmed uh, uh, The Comeback, the new yeah. series we just started. Remember what was written on the fucking, um, on the, the chair? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's just like, that's why I give zero fucks anymore because I'm just like, how the hell did we go so backwards in four years because of this one dumb asshole that y'all still try to kiss the ring? Teddy. <laughs> Y'all are still trying to she kiss the, all the asses. All of them. Because all, they don't want to lose. They can't lose the Trump. They can't lose the Trumpers. Because uh, they say one thing bad, the Trumpers are, oh. Because there was a point where they wanted to start their own party, remember? Yeah. The Freedom Club or whatever. The, fucking yeah, that. the Freedom will go spank each other. We can go spank Club. each other off and just go to our Cheeto Jesus and be like, let me lick that white asshole. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, you know right. I get, I get wet. I know I retired it, but we got to get going because I had to pick up a tiny one, a very tiny one. She's so tiny. It's crazy. It's amazing. I'm amazing. <laughs> you can go get, just get a bag of Cheetos, rub it on your face if you want the same complexion as me. If you want that complexion, it's easy. It'll oh cost God, you $1.69 yeah. <laughs> at the gas station. I don't know what a gas station is, but some people tell me that's where they get my Cheetos. And they get my Cheetos, and I have my makeup artist make sure that I am orange. I love the color orange. Greatest color in the world. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Fake news. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, we got to get rolling. But you know what the funny thing about that, though? As much as he says that's fake news, he sure liked popping his ass on there, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> Stupid ass kid. All right, y'all. I am KMV the Sexy Ninja. This big daddy came at you. All right, remember, like and subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandpa. Share with the bum down at Walmart. And don't forget about he's be, he probably behind Target now. <laughs> I think he moved over to Joanne's. He wants to get his arts and crafts going. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that, that's that's probably why Big Big Pappy was talking shit the other day. Oh, Big Pappy! Uh -huh. <laughs> this motherfucker was a kneeling bitch. You want me? You want to swear? I was bitch. This do this summertime out here. <laughs> Well, you ready to me some draw old shit? We can get, get some goddamn thing, some some breathing room up in here and shit. We can go over here with some goddamn pink and shit like that, just going, just going at it. Well, my mammy was a slut and shit. She was over here. I was a goddamn sweater. Shit. He's draws. He's lost his mind. Draws. I need some draws. Goddamn, put some holes in this. It's gonna hot in this bitch. <laughs> All right, y'all. <yo. laughs> <laughs> when in doubt. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck your old couch. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it get hot, boy. I'm telling you. <laughs> Go beyond something called Funky Comedina. Shit.